We're following breaking news right now out of Pompano Beach where an SUV has collided with a bright line train. We've learned the crash has turned deadly. So we're going to start things off with Local 10 News reporter Ian Margle. He is live on the scene with the breaking details. Ian. And this is just an absolute mess. Take a look. You can see right here behind me the, again, mess that is left over from this. This happened just a little bit less than a half a mile north of us, but actually came to a stop right here. Let's take you to Sky 10 over the scene. You can see just how devastating this crash really was. We're told it happened just before 10:15 this morning near Dixie Highway and Northwest 3rd Street here in Pompano Beach. Now the car did go around the arms of the railroad crossing before being hit by the southbound Brightline train. Take a look at this next video. The train came to a stop at Southwest 2nd Street. The car burst into flames and you can see it from this video. The smoke billowing from the car that is in front of the train. Pompano Beach Fire Rescue came here, put out that fire and they did confirm for us that at least one person is dead inside, but they said it is such a mangled mess. They can't even tell if there's anyone else inside of that car. Now this picture from right up next to the crash shows just how bad it really is. And apparently people at the intersection who saw this car go around the arms say the driver seemed to pause on the tracks. Witnesses said they said uh, the car appeared to go around the gates that were closed and, and pretty much stopped on the tracks. Now, whether they froze, whether they couldn't go any further or whether they did it um, on purpose, that, that's just too soon to say right now. So today's crash is actually the second fatal crash involving a Brightline train in just a few months. This one you're seeing on your screen right now happened in Aventura back in November. The female driver at that scene was in that Mercedes SUV. She seemed to have been waiting for a red light to change and was stuck on the tracks when that train hit and killed her. Back out live here on this scene in Pompano Beach. The area will be shut down for hours as this investigation is ongoing. Brightline train riders have been moved to the back of the train. We're told no one was hurt on board the train. But again, this is all under investigation. I would avoid this area for quite some time. The traffic backed up in a lot of different areas surrounding this crash scene. Again, we know at least one person has died. This investigation ongoing. As soon as we learn anything else, we'll let you know. Live in Pompano Beach, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.